Hi, in this problem we have a limit. We have xy approaching 0, 0. And the function is x squared over x squared plus y squared. Let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. In order for a limit to exist, it must be equal to the same value no matter which way we approach. So I am thinking that this limit is not going to exist because we can approach from different directions and I think we're going to get a different answer. So I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite the problem here. x squared over x squared plus y squared. And let's first approach uh, from the y-axis. So if we set x equal to zero in our limit, we're basically approaching from, from the y-axis. And in this case, this is going to be 0 squared over 0 squared plus y squared. Let me just give you a little picture to show you what I mean. So here's the x-axis. Here's the y-axis. And we're approaching 0, 0. So we're approaching this point here. And when x is equal to 0, we're on this line here. Okay, and that's the vertical line x equals zero. And so in this case, y is approaching zero. So we're going towards zero. So we're approaching along the x-axis, just a fun little picture so you see that. So this is equal to the limit as zero y approaches zero, zero of zero, and that's equal to zero. Okay, now let's do the same thing or something similar rather. So we have xy approaching 0, 0. I'm just going to go ahead and write it again just to make it look pretty. So x squared over x squared plus y squared. Except now we're going to approach along the x-axis. So here we have x and then here we have 0. And this is approaching 0, 0. So in this case we set y equal to 0. So we get x squared over x squared. And just for fun, let me come over here and give you the picture. So here's the x-axis and here's the y-axis. And so in this case, y is equal to zero, so we're on the x-axis. And we're approaching zero, so we're going this way. And this way, let me use a different color here, let's do yellow. So we're approaching zero, zero along the x-axis. We're approaching this point here. So this is equal to the limit as x0 approaches 0, 0 of 1, right? Because x squared over x squared is 1, and that's just 1. And so because these limits are different, the answer is D and E does not exist. In order for the limit to exist, it must be the same no matter which direction we approach. So again, the answer here is the limit does not exist. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.